Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM, it says DEC FZ247 AUS B and this is a different version because it contains crew as it's written here, of course it comes in 135 scale so it might be an interesting base for a diorama project and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review, we are going to open it together and check what is actually included here and why this kit will be interesting for you as well. So first of all this box is a typical ICM box size so here you can see comparison with my hand we have really nice box art here and then on the side as usual we have some information so here we have 247 plus 32 parts and assembled model we will have a length of 144 millimeters obviously this dimension is for the vehicle and here we have also a short history note. On the opposite side we have the same marking option as on the boxer but I sincerely hope that there will be more inside we will see it further in this video review. So as usual with modern keys from ICM this one comes sealed with a sticky tape so that's why we are going to cut through it and check what is actually inside. In the meantime let me remind you that you can support us with a small donation um, by clicking the support button on our website in a desktop version it's done via PayPal so it's safe and quick and of course you will be the one deciding how much we'll get and all this money proceeds will be used for new kits and also for the new photo and video equipment which will actually improve the quality of our video reviews and photo reviews as well. So some of you already did it and I really appreciate it because it helped us get some really uh, interesting kits which we checked together. So as you can see here we have this color printed top lid which is flexible it doesn't provide any protection because what is actually protecting the kit is this thick box out of white cardboard. Inside we have all parts packed into several plastic bags because one plastic bag is dedicated to the vehicle and another one is dedicated to figures. But we will see it further in the video review. And the first thing will be the vehicle parts in the separate plastic bag. It's a receivable plastic bag so just give me a second. Okay. So what do we have here? First of all we have vinyl tires. So they come in the separate plastic bag as you can see. These are typical vinyl parts and frankly speaking this is not a great thing to have in 135 scale. So if you have a chance to replace them with some resin set definitely do this because in 135 scale such upgrade will be noticeable thing. So here you can see them closer we have really I would say they are okay for out of the box build as you can see this tire it looks nice but there is no details there are no details on the tire walls so keep it in mind. And next we start with the first gray plastic sprue so here it is let's zoom out a bit so here on this sprue we get, just give me a second, so here we have uh, hull parts, as you can see these are sidewalls if we can say so, and also we have separate doors which will be uh, suitable for some diorama projects, so it's a really handy feature. We also have engine, we have some radio station which will be installed inside some pioneer tools, and now we can zoom in so that you can check everything closer. So we are going to start with this corner, here we have some seats for the driver, this is a spare wheel which should be glued out of two halves, so basically it replicates wheel you in a special case and or cover if you prefer. Next here we continue with the body parts as you can see we have the special guiding elements for the external parts and it means you won't be wasting time trying to align these parts together with this one so it's really good. And here we have fire extinguisher, some parts for the interior, pioneer tools as I said before and what else? Here you can see a radio station, engine parts and if you flip it over here you can check what we have inside. So there is not that much of features to check because basically all of these parts will be glued together but here for example you can see that we have guiding elements which will help you with alignment and the same can be said about some other parts here in the lower section. Okay. Next we continue with another plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to chassis parts. So let's zoom out and here you can see it. So 
first of all we have these chassis bars here in the middle they will be used for the main section of this vehicle we also have steering wheel by the way here we have some suspension parts drivetrain parts and some of them are really thin so be careful while cutting them off it might require due care so definitely do not hurry with this stuff because it might be easy to break them and then it will be really difficult to fix them so here we have a closer look at these parts and still it's worth noting that attachment points are really thin so I think it will be easy to separate these parts just be sure to do it carefully with the plastic saw for example then it will be a more probability that you won't break these parts you will actually get them in one piece okay next we continue with two identical plastic sprues so here they are I will show you only one because they carry absolutely the same parts and we can flip it over like this so here if we zoom in now you can see that we have some parts for wheels we also have some parts or minor elements for the suspension suspension arms here for example but we can zoom in even further so that you can check everything in a bit more detailed view so more engine parts more suspension parts some drivetrain thingies here we have also the springs for the suspension well i'm a bit confused i'm trying to understand where this wheel will go so i guess this is internal part this is external part and next we continue here with suspension arms and that's basically all what we have in this sprue so let's zoom out a bit okay Next we continue with a clear plastic sprue, so it comes in the separate plastic bag as usual, so just give me a second to open it. Okay, mm -mm -mm. what do we have here? So here we have various glasses and frankly speaking I'm not sure if these glasses will be handy for this kit because they, uh, this vehicle does not have the windscreen or any other glasses. Maybe you'll have to use these lenses for headlamps but that's pretty much all what will be used from this clear frame. And last but not the least is this sprue with a top hull cover and also some of the body panels and as you can see everything looks cool so there is nothing to complain about and of course this opening it will be visible on the finished vehicle so it might be a good idea to do some weathering here because it will be uh, exposed on the finished model as well and also note that this hatch on the engine bay is also molded separately so it hints that you can open it in order to show the engine inside in my opinion that's a quite handy feature especially for this model is cool like to expose all internal thingies on their kits so here you can take a closer look at what we have on this sprue again molding quality seems to be fine i do not see any flash here maybe some interior elements they will require a bit more details with the scratch building it's up to you but even out of the box builds should be nice looking model here you can check everything from inside again nothing to complain about okay Next, we continue with another plastic bag. As you remember, there is a second plastic bag with figure parts. So just give me a second. Let's not forget that this is a 135 scale, so it's no surprise that we see such parts designed here. You can see that these are separate hands, legs and torso. No, also, you can note that torso is molded as a one-piece part. And now we can zoom in so that you can check every figure so in every corner or in each corner we have one figure here you can see the first guy next we continue with the second one know that headphones are molded separately this is a really cool feature because it will let you paint them carefully and avoid any um, unnecessary masking or maybe some careful painting process but here they are pre-molded so it's really interesting choice of the molding design and here we have the last fourth figure which comes in pretty much the same style. So as you can guess, all these figures are pre-shaped, so you will have only one option of the assembly, and I guess that's not a surprise for plastic modelers. Next we continue, there is a with various paperwork here. So first of all, we have a small brochure with the dog and chewing the 
sprue so it means that sh they can help you replace the broken sprues. Next we start with assembly manual so maybe we will close the camera a bit so that you won't be blinded with a white color on the video. So here we have a separate assembly manual for figures as you can see it's a German command vehicle crew set number 35644 so it is sold separately and they do not hide it but here you get it as a combo and you get it for a bit more effective price I would say. So here we have parts map, we have paint charts, some safety devices and on the rear side you can see painting guide which is combined together with assembly manual and in my opinion it's pretty much understandable so you won't be confused on what to do here or there. Okay. And next we should have some decals in the vehicle assembly manual so just give me a second I will remove them in a second. Okay, so the decal sheet is not that big, here you can show it closer just like this. We have several types of the number plates, but from what I can see we have pretty much the same markings as on the solar release, if we can say so. And I mean decals look good and some symbols might be even replicated with masks, it will be up to you. But still I would repeat myself that these decals are also fine for the standard build. And now we can proceed with... Uh, assembly manual for the vehicle so it comes in form of large brochure it's color printed we have short history note here also some technical specifications and paint chart and next what do we have here parts map so of course red shows that these parts won't be used this is a clear sprue so as i said you need only two parts for this model Next we start with the chassis, so it should be glued out of separate parts and as you can see each chassis bar should be glued out of two halves, then you install these uh, special rods which will be actually used for the suspension from what I can understand, or maybe they will be holding the bodywork in place. But as you can see the whole chassis is really complex structure. So do not underestimate this model, it might look small, it might look simple because parts count is not as big as some other um, offerings on the market, I mean armored vehicle offerings, but still we have really detailed suspension here, we have nice drivetrain out of the box, so it means you won't have to spend your time trying to get some aftermarket resin set and then try to install it. Here you get the engine out of the box and you can also expose it as you remember, so here by the way you can see the process of the installation of the engine. Next we install wheels, but obviously nobody will do this, they will paint it separately and then install on the last stages. Then we continue with the vehicle floor. And next here we start working on the separate walls, so you have these doors molded separately and note that they're shown in a closed position but obviously you can open them I suppose because they come as a separate part so it would be strange to close them, at least in my opinion. Next we have some interior parts installed here and there and then we install the chassis, uh, we connect chassis together with the hull and here we have more of the suspension parts and control elements and also drivetrain for the full wheel drive and next more suspensions parts I guess these are actually the suspension parts for the front Next we have a dashboard with the steering wheel and control elements. So as I said interior should be really detailed so do not forget to apply some weathering and maybe do some washes there because it will be visible through the rear opening. At least this part will be visible and this one will be barely visible but still it will be noticeable on the finished vehicle. So we have also radio stations which will be assembled out of separate parts. Here you have some various hatches which come as a separate parts as well and next we continue with installing all these catches on the top hull cover and basically what you have to do on the next steps is connect this top cover together with the lower section so it would be a good idea to pre-paint these parts maybe it will be up to you which sequence you will choose next we continue with exhaust tube and we also assemble side boxes which will be fixed on the hull some pioneer tools spare wheel and here we have more boxes Again Pioneer tools and here we have some shovel, antennae, side view mirrors, headlamps and that's pretty much all. So 111 steps to do and next we have two marking options here and two more here. So we even have one 
from France, summer 1944, quite interesting choice. As you can see, it comes in a different color from all these gray vehicles which we saw before. So four markings in total. And as for the whole kit, it should be already available. So you can get it on, for example, Modelimax web shop. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a release. Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, do not forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.